you've settled in your new accommodation, met your new flatmates and housemates, I would highly recommend exploring your area. My first accommodation was on campus in house 31, I think. And because it's a single sex dorm, it's at the topmost level. At least that's with my experience with being two years in a single sex dorm. I'm always at the top flats, like set, flat seven and eight. But I get it, this beautiful view overlooking, like I can see the train going in and out of Lancaster. And then in the morning, I see some sheep and some green field, which is a view that you get in Jakarta. And it was, I enjoyed it while it lasts. <laughs> but then I noticed that there's a bench across the road oh, that also overlooks this view. And that bench became one of like the secret spots on campus that I, that's really special to me and my friends. And this was just one of the hidden away spots in Lancaster that I found to be a secret gem. What with about 290 species of animals and plants, there's so many trails that you can go on and if you go for a morning run, sometimes you might even come across a deer. And I didn't realize until a friend of mine mentioned this to me that the accommodation where you live basically decides what you do on a daily basis and how you do things. Like something as simple as how you do laundry, where you go for walks and where you go to get your groceries, where you go to eat. Lonsdale is quite secluded from the busy and crowded areas of campus. So the closest place for me to eat out was Barker's and for me to go grocery shopping was Central. But then I could also do that online with Sainsbury's. And I love that living in Lonsdale, I find these new trails. My favorite trail starts from the Pendle Wooden Walkway. And like there's a road next to it. So if this, if this is the Wooden Walkway, there's a road here. And then you follow that road towards LL. I wouldn't have known about this if it wasn't for and be, being enrolled in a school's volunteering module and I had to volunteer in a primary school down at Alal and it's a 20 minute walk. Because this module started in my third year, I'm so sad. I'm so sad that I didn't know about this trail earlier on. So I advise explore as much as you can, you know. Rent a bike if you have to. Some people would have posters hanging out and like stating that it's five pounds a day to rent their bike. But if you want to be surrounded with a more metropolitan environment, a more metropolitan view, you can always hop on a train and have a day trip to Manchester or Liverpool, which is just an hour and an hour and a half, or an hour and a half away. It might just be worth investing in a 16 to 25 rail card, which gives you discounts when you book trains. And you can book these trains on an application called Trainline. I'll link down the applications that I found useful in the description box below.